Okay, this is Silent Scream. Warm up this hand. It's the one with the pick in it. Because you're going to be using it a hell of a lot during this song. It's uh, quite punishing for your picking hand. So it's going to start 7th fret power chord on the 5th string. And you're going to use your ring finger and middle finger to go from the 9th fret to the 8th fret on the 4th string. And you're going to strum that twice, like this. Down strokes. Not just like this. Okay? And then in between you're going to hit the open 6th string uh, 1 million times. Okay, then it's going to start into the main riff. So every time this riff goes, you're going to start with that power chord, the 9 to the 8th fret on the 4th string there. You're going to start just like that. And then in between doing that and then the, the two notes you're going to hit, um, you're going to hit the open 6th string three times, like this. So. Okay? So all those little riffs in between, you're going to hit the 6th string three times. So here's how it goes. That little power chord gimmick. Then you're going to do 9th fret to 10th fret on the 4th string of the 5th string. So 9 on the 4th, 5th, 10th uh, on the 5th. Okay, that's how it, you're starting to hear it. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3 on the 6th string. 8 to 9, so 8th fret on the 4th string, 9th fret on the 5th string. So it's going to go. And then you're going to end it with the 8th fret on the 5th string to the 10th fret on the 4th string. So it's. Okay, then 1, 2, 3 on the 6th string, and then back to that chord. To the 9, 8. 9, 8 chord, we'll call it. The second time you do it, you're doing the same pattern, 9, 10, 8, 9, 4th to 5th string, and then when you get to the 8th fret on the 5th string, instead of going to the 10th fret on the 4th, you're going to go to the 10th fret on the 5th, like that. So here's the two riffs so far. Oops, and I flipped it up. Okay, so that's 8, 10 on the 5th string. Then you're going to do it again, uh, two more times. Okay, the third time you're playing this, you're going to do that 8, 10 that I showed you, which is the which is the same riff you're doing the first time you play it. Then this is the fourth and final time you're, you play this uh, part of the riff. And then that's how it ends. So it's going to go uh, 9, 10, 8, 9, 7, 8 on the 4th to 5th string. So 7th fret, 4th string, 8th fret, 5th string. So I'll play the whole thing real slow, even though they play real fast. So here's how it goes. And then it repeats. Okay. Now, when I first heard this riff, I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, speed pick that open six string as many times as I can in between each of those riffs. And it just, it's sloppy. They only hit it three times. One, two, three. So. Okay. Real, real time is more like this. Okay, so uh, once they come out of that riff, uh, remember Slayer's always got two guitars doing two totally different things even for their rhythms. It's going to come out of that riff because he's going to play those four parts four times. So that's what I mean, this hand is going to be really uh, tired. Um, when you come out of it, it's going to go like this. Okay, that's that. Um, you know, that, I guess that's pretty much the chorus of the song. So that's how I play it. There's another guitar 
that's just instead of doing those chords, which I'm gonna show you. Hold on. He's just doing. Um, he's just doing. Okay, which is a totally different riff, but he's basically, you know, uh, E string or I should say six string power chord, and then open six string power chord to the uh, fifth to seventh fret on the six string. And then that F, I'm sorry, that first fret power chord there to end it. And that's with one, two, three in between. Okay? But anyway, I'm not here to show you that. I'm here to show you what people hear when they play this song. They hear this. What that is, ninth fret power chord on the fourth string. And then to the eighth fret power chord on the fourth string. And then you're going to do the 7th fret power chord on the 5th string. And right when you hit that, hit the 6th string three times. Okay? Then you're going to do that 5 to 7. Those are hammer-ons. Just hammer it on 5, 7 on the 5th string. Okay? And then you're doing the 6th string open three times in between each hammer-on. And then for the final one, before you hit that 8th fret power chord, which kind of separates the uh, the uh, measures here, you're going to hit the 6th string, you're just going to palm mute it once. So it's going to go like this. Okay, that that's what I was talking about. And then you repeat the power chords again. Okay, that now they play that two times, I believe, coming right out of that first rhythm there. So it's I'm gonna play it full time uh, real time here. Okay, now when they you know the the rhythm pretty much stops and they start doing that. And all that's all they're doing is a fifth fret to seventh fret power chords there, and then they end on the eighth fret power chord, and then they go back into the rhythm I've already showed you. Except they play that those four parts I showed you two times in a row. They go back in the chorus. Okay, now this is the part under the solo. It's the same rhythm as the chorus that I've already showed you. So it's just... And then they just repeat it. So it's just going from the 8th fret to the 7th fret, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 hammer-ons. Now, for, to start the solo underneath, he's doing that rhythm, I believe, six times, okay? So, once you get to the sixth time, this is how you're going to transition to the other guitar. When the other guitar stops soloing, um, we're going to transition to the other rhythm that the other guy plays. So, it's going to go like this. Okay, so you can see how it kind of ends on that eighth, eighth fret there. And you're gonna come right down to the fourth fret on the sixth string. Okay, and you're basically gonna do that. You're gonna basically do that rhythm, but from the fourth fret here. So it's gonna go, uh, you know, speed pick the fourth fret. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna speed pick that fourth fret on the sixth string, come up to the sixth fret on the fourth string, and I'm gonna just stop speed picking that fourth fret so you can just see this. So it's uh, sixth fret, fourth string, uh, with your ring finger to the pinky on the seventh fret, 
on the fifth string. So then you're gonna use your middle finger on the fifth fret to the sixth, uh, fifth fret fourth string to the sixth fret on the fifth string. And then you're gonna end it with the uh, middle finger fifth fret on the fifth string to the seventh fret on the fourth string. Second time he does it, he's gonna go same pattern, six to seven, five to six, you know, between the fourth and fifth string, except he's gonna go five to seven all on the fifth string, like that, with the middle finger and the pinky, okay? And then the third time he does it, it's gonna be the same pattern as the first. Then the fourth time, he's gonna come down the ladder just like you do on the other riff. So you gotta kinda, you're gonna go um, six, seven, five, six, and then you're gonna bar your pointer finger across the fourth fret there, across those bottom three strings to get to that fourth fret on the fourth string, and then you're gonna land on the fifth fret with your middle finger on the fifth string, like that. Okay, he does that whole pattern two times, and again, this is all under the solo, so it's gonna sound like this. Okay, then from there, he's again, he does that two times, and there he's gonna come right back out to that seventh fret. Okay, that's how that whole pattern goes. So it's gonna, once he comes out of that. Okay, that's how they transition into that, that riff I'm gonna show you here at the bottom of the neck. So he's gonna come out with the seventh fret power chord just going. Then you're gonna start just alternate, you know, I'm sorry, speed picking that six, six string. And you're gonna do a a pull off from the second first to open string on the fifth string and then you're gonna land on that first fret power chord there on the fifth string then you're gonna do a fifth fret to fourth fret power chord after uh, speed picking the sixth string back to those pull offs 2-1-0 on the pull off Again, you're just picking that once, and oh, twice when you land on the power chord on the first fret. Okay, then the final time he's just doing the pull off. Okay, what he's doing there is he's doing the uh, Two one zero oh, pull off to the one zero oh, three, and you could hammer that on if you want instead of picking it on the sixth string. Sometimes I think I just hammer it on, just like without picking, just you know. Uh, so, so that's how it is. I'm gonna play it slow so you get the whole feel down. Oh shit, I screwed up. Okay, now how he transitions out of that riff is a little tricky because he's gonna go right back into the... Okay, so what you're gonna do when you do that don't do like that's the riff it ends on and then he's gonna go right into the but don't hit that third fret on the sixth string just go like two one oh one oh and then so it's gonna go like that okay so real fast it's gonna go
Oops. It's, it's tricky, even I screw up. Yes, your teacher screws up. That was it. Okay, then you're gonna do that riff I already showed you. Go do the whole, another verse again. Um, except this time, when they go into the chorus, out of the... Uh, you're gonna hit the, instead of doing the octave, you're gonna hit the seventh fret, the lower octave, the seventh fret on the 6th string to the 6th fret on the 6th string power chord then go down to the open 6th string then you're just going to do hammer-ons from the 5th to 7th fret on the 6th string and then that 1st uh, fret power chord uh, instead of the 8th fret power chord because those are octaves and then you're going to come right back to the 7th fret because he's done, doing the chorus twice And then it's just one, two, one, two, one, two, because, and then he says, in the night, and yes, the song ends. So here's that last part real quick. That's it. Good luck. Warm up.